Hello and welcome to the Honda XR650L valve clearance verification and adjustment video. Today I'll display how to properly verify and adjust the valve clearances for the Honda XR650L motorcycle. Some basic tools required are metric feeler gauges, metric wrenches, metric allen keys, and other basic tools like needle nose pliers, screwdrivers, and basic hand tools. The first thing you'll want to do is turn the fuel petcock valve off and remove the hose clamp and hose from the valve. Next, remove the side covers and seat by removing the 12 millimeter bolts under the seat. After that, you can remove the gas tank by removing the center 10 millimeter nut as well as the cowlings if necessary. Remove the gas tank so that you'll have access to the inspection port covers. You should be able to remove the four inspection port covers with a large socket or a large wrench. Be careful, the inspection port covers are made of aluminum and may mar easily. Each inspection port cover should have a rubber o-ring underneath it to seal it. Also remove the spark plug in order to check for any obvious engine conditions that may be present. Uh, you can check your plug by looking on the internet or checking your manual to see if there's any obvious engine conditions that show up by plug color. An ideal color is like a light gray. Remove the two hex plugs on the left engine cover. The top port is to a verify top dead center of the engine with respect to the valves. Turn the engine counterclockwise with a socket wrench from the nut in the lower hole until the alignment mark on the engine aligns with the mark on the cover. The mark you're looking for is on the left side of a T. The T is rotated on its left side as seen here. With the engine on a compression stroke, the piston should be all the way up and the valves should have some free play. This free play is what needs to be adjusted. To verify the valve clearance, insert the feeler gauge below the stud that has a locking nut on it. When the valve is properly adjusted, there should be a resistance or drag on the feeler gauge. Use the proper feeler gauge for the intake and exhaust valves. Just a slight resistance against the feeler gauge is all that is needed. Here I verified the exhaust valve. If you need to adjust the clearance, loosen the locking nut with a 12 millimeter wrench and use a screwdriver to raise or lower the adjuster to the specified clearance. While holding the adjuster with the screwdriver, Tighten the 12 millimeter nut without moving the screwdriver's position. Re-verify the adjusted valve and repeat the process on the other three valves. Reassemble the bike in reverse order and you're ready to go. I hope this video has been helpful. Thank you.